The Hourglass William Butler Yeats he said we might choose the subject for the lesson the persons of the play wise man. Bridget, his wife. Tug, a fool. Angel. Children and pupils. Pupils come in and stand before the stage curtain, which is still closed. One pupil carries a book. First pupil he said we might choose the subject for the lesson. Second pupil there is none of us wise enough to do that. Third pupil it would need a great deal of wisdom to know what it is we want to know. Fourth pupil I will question him. Fifth pupil you? Fourth pupil last night I dreamt that someone came and told me to question him. I was to say to him, you were wrong to say there is no God and no soul, maybe, if there is not much of either, there is yet some tatters, some tag on the wind, so to speak, some rag upon a bush, some bob tail of a god. I will argue with him, nonsense though it be, according to my dream, and you will see how well I can argue, and what thoughts I have. First pupil ideas soon listen to dried peas in a bladder, as listen to your thoughts. Fools comes in. Fool give me a penny. Second pupil let us choose a subject by chance. Here is his big book. Let us turn over the pages slowly. Let one of us put down his finger without looking. The passage his finger lights on will be the subject for the lesson. Fool give me a penny. Third pupil taking up book how heavy it is. Fourth pupil spread it on tag s back, and then we can all stand round and see the choice. Second pupil make him spread out his arms. Fourth pupil down on your knees. Hunch up your back. Spread your arms out now, and look like a golden eagle in a church. Keep still, keep still. Fool give me a penny. Third pupil is that the right cry for an eagle cock? Second pupil I ll turn the pages. You close your eyes and put your finger down. Third pupil that is it, and then he cannot blame us for the choice. First pupil there, I have chosen. Fool, keep still, and if what is wise is strange and sounds like nonsense, we've ye made a good choice. Fifth pupil the master has come. Fool will anybody give a penny to a fool? One of the pupils draws back the stage curtain showing the master sitting at his desk. There is an hourglass upon his desk or in a bracket on the wall. One pupil puts the book before him. First pupil we have chosen the passage for the lesson, Master. There are two living countries, one visible and one invisible, and when it is summer there, it is winter here, and when it is November with us, it is lambing time there. Wise man that passage, that passage. What mischief has there been since yesterday? First pupil none, Master. Wise man, oh yes, there has. Some craziness has fallen from the wind, or risen from the graves of old men, and made you choose that subject. Fourth pupil, I knew that it was folly, but they would have it. Third pupil, had we not better say we picked it by chance? Second pupil, no. He would say we were children still. First pupil, I have found a sentence under that one that says, as though to show it had a hidden meaning. A beggar wrote it upon the walls of Babylon. Wise man then find some beggar and ask him what it means, for I will have nothing to do with it. Fourth pupil come, Tug, what is the old book as meaning when it says that there are sheep that drop their lambs in November? Fool to be sure, everybody knows, everybody in the world knows, when it is spring with us, the trees are withering there, when it is summer with us, the snow is falling there. And have I not myself heard the lambs that are there all bleeding on a cold November day, to be sure, does not everybody with an intellect know that? And maybe when it is night with us, it is day with them, for many a time I have seen the roads lighted before me. Wise man the beggar who wrote that on Babylon wall meant that there is a spiritual kingdom that cannot be seen or known till the faculties whereby we master the kingdom of this world wither away, like green things in winter. A monkish thought. The most mischievous thought that ever passed out of a man's mouth. First pupil, if he meant all that, I will take an oath that he was spindle shanked, and cross eyed, and had a lousy itching shoulder, and that his heart was crosser than his eyes, and that he wrote it out of malice. Second pupil, let us come away and find a better subject. Fourth pupil, any may be now you will oh, let me choose. First pupil, come. Wise man worth but true to old alter everything until the stream of the world had changed its course, 
and that and all our thoughts had run into some cloudy thunderous spring they dreamed to be its source, I, to some frenzy of the mind, and all that we have done would be undone, our speculation but as the wind. A pause. I have dreamed it twice. First pupil something has troubled him. Pupils go out. Wise man twice have I dreamed it in a morning dream, now nothing serves my pupils but to come with a like thought. Reason is growing dim. A moment more and frenzy will beat his drum and laugh aloud and scream. And I must dance in the dream. No, no, but it is like a hawk, a hawk of the air, it has swooped down, and the swoop makes the third, and what can I, but tremble like a bird. Fool give me a penny. Wise man that I should dream it twice, and after that, that they should pick it out. Fool want to you give me a penny? Wise man what do you want? What can it matter to you whether the words I am reading are wisdom or sheer folly? Fool such a great, wise teacher will not refuse a penny to a fool. Wise man seeing that everybody is a fool when he is asleep and dreaming, why do you call me wise? Fool oh, I know, I know, I know what I have seen. Wise man well, to see rightly is the whole of wisdom, whatever dream be with us. Fool when I went by Kilcluan, where the bells used to be ringing at the break of every day, I could hear nothing but the people snoring in their houses. When I went by Tubravanic, where the young men used to be climbing the hill to the blessed well, they were sitting at the crossroads playing cards. When I went by Caragoras, where the friars used to be fasting and serving the poor, I saw them drinking wine and obeying their wives. And when I asked what misfortune had brought all these changes, they said it was no misfortune, but that it was the wisdom they had learned from your teaching. Wise man and you to have called me wise, you would be paid for that good opinion doubtless, run to the kitchen, my wife will give you food and drink. Fool that as foolish advice for a wise man to give. Wise man why, fool? Fool what is eaten is gone, I want pennies for my bag. I must buy bacon in the shops, and nuts in the market and strong drink for the time the sun is weak, and snares to catch the rabbits and the hares, and a big pot to cook them in. Wise man I have more to think about than giving pennies to your like, so run away. Fool give me a penny and I will bring you luck. The fishermen let me sleep among their nets in the loft because I bring them luck. And in the summer time, the wild creatures let me sleep near their nests and their holes. It is lucky even to look at me but it is much more lucky to give me a penny. If I was not lucky I would starve. Wise man what are the shears for? Fool I want to tell you. If I told you, you would drive them away. Wise man drive them away. Who would I drive away? Fool I want to tell you. Wise man not if I give you a penny? Fool no. Wise man not if I give you two pennies? Fool you will be very lucky if you give me two pennies but I want to tell you. Wise man three pennies? Fool four, and I will tell you. Wise man very well, four, but from this out I will not call you Tig the fool. Fool let me come close to you, where nobody will hear me. But first you must promise not to drive them away. Wise man nods. Every day men go out dressed in black and spread great black nets over the hills, great black nets. Wise man a strange place that to fish in. Fool they spread them out on the hills that they may catch the feet of the angels. But every morning just before the dawn, I go out and cut the nets with the shears and the angels fly away. Wise man, speaking with excitement. Ah, now I know that you are Tig the fool. You say that I am wise, and yet I say, there are no angels. Fool I have seen plenty of angels. Wise man no, no, you have not. Fool they are plenty if you but look about you. They are like the blaze of grass. Wise man they are plenty as the blaze of grass, I heard that phrase when I was but a child and was told folly. Fool when one gets quiet. When one is so quiet that there is not a thought in one as head maybe, there is something that wakes up inside one, something happy and quiet, and then all in a minute one can smell summer flowers, and tall people go by, happy and laughing, but they will not let us look at their faces. Oh no. It is not right that we should look at their faces. Wise man you have fallen asleep upon a hill, yet, even those that used to dream of angels dream now of other things. Fool I saw one but a moment ago, that is because I am lucky. 
It was coming behind me, but it was not laughing. Wise man there is nothing but what men can see when they are awake. Nothing, nothing. Fool I knew you would drive them away. Wise man pardon me, fool, I had forgotten who I spoke to. Well, there are your four pennies, fool you are called and all day long they cry, come hither, fool. The fool goes close to him. Or else it s, fool, be gone. The fool goes further off. Or, fool, stand there. The fool straightens himself up. Or, fool, go sit in the corner. The fool sits in the corner. And all the while what were they all but fools before I came? What are they now, but mirrors that seem men, because of my image? Fool, hold up your head. Fool does so. What foolish stories they have told of the ghosts that fumbled with the clothes upon the bed, or creaked and shuffled in the quarter, or else, if they were pious breed, of angels from the skies, that coming through the door, or, it may be, standing there, would solidly outstare the steadiest eyes with their unnatural eyes, I, on a man's own flower. An angel has come in. It should be played by a man if a man can be found with the right voice and may wear a little golden domino and a halo made of metal. Or the whole face may be a beautiful mask, in which case the last sentence on page 136 should not be spoken. Yet it is strange, the strangest thing I have known, that I should still be haunted by the notion that there is a crisis of the spirit wherein we get new sight, and that they know some trick to turn our thoughts for their own ends to frenzy. Why do you put your finger to your lip, and creep away? Fool goes out. Wise man sees angel. What are you? Who are you? I think I saw some like you in my dreams, when but a child. That thing about your head, that brightness in your hair, that flowery branch. But I have done with dreams, I have done with dreams. Angel I am the crafty one that you have called. Wise man how that I called? Angel I am the messenger. Wise man what message could you bring to one like me? Angel, turning the hourglass that you will die when the last grain of sand has fallen through this glass. Wise man I have a wife, children and pupils that I cannot leave, why must I die, my time is far away? Angel you have to die because no soul has passed the heavenly threshold since you have opened school, but grass grows there, and rust upon the hinge. And they are lonely that must keep the watch. Wise man and whither shall I go when I am dead? Angel you have denied there is a purgatory, therefore that gate is closed. You have denied there is a heaven, and so that gate is closed. Wise man where then? For I have said there is no hell. Angel hell is the place of those who have denied. They find there what they planted and what dug, a lake of spaces, and a wood of nothing, and wander there and drift, and never cease wailing for substance. Wise man pardon me, blessed angel. I have denied and taught the like to others. But how could I believe before my sight had come to me? Angel it is too late for pardon. Wise man had I but met your gaze as now I met it, but how can you that live but where we go in the uncertainty of dizzy dreams know why we doubt? Parting, sickness and death, the rotting of the grass, tempest and drought, these are the messengers that came to me. Why are you silent? You carry in your hands God as pardon, and you will not give it me. Why are you silent? Were I not afraid, I'd kiss your hands, no, no, the hem of your dress. Angel only when all the world has testified, may soul confound it, crying out in joy, and laughing on its lonely precipice. What is dearth and death and sickness to the soul that knows no virtue but itself? Nor could it, so trembling with delight and mother naked, live unabashed if the arguing world stood by. Wise man it is as hard for you to understand why we have doubted, as it is for us to banish doubt, what folly have I said? There can be nothing that you do not know, give me a year, a month, a week, a day, I would undo what I have done, an hour, give me until the sand has run in the glass. Angel though you may not undo what you have done, I have this power, if you but find one soul, before the sands have fallen, that still believes one fish to lie and spawn among the stones till the great fish s net is full again, you may, the purgatorial fire being passed, spring to your peace. Pupils sing in the distance. Who stole your wits away and where are they gone? Wise man my pupils come, 
before you have begun to climb the sky I shall have found that so. They say the doubt, but what their mothers dined into their ears cannot have been so lightly rooted up. Besides, I can disprove what I once proved, and yet give me some thought, some argument, more mighty than my own. Angel farewell, farewell, for I am weary of the weight of time. Angel goes out. Wise man makes a step to follow and pauses. Some of his pupils come in at the other side of the stage. First pupil master, master, you must choose the subject. Enter other pupils with fool, about whom they dance. All the pupils may have little cushions on which they seat themselves. Second pupil here is a subject, where have the fool's wits gone? Singing, who dragged your wits away where no one knows? Or have they run off on their own pair of shoes? Fool give me a penny. First pupil the master will find your wits, second pupil and when they are found, you must not beg for pennies. Third pupil they are hidden somewhere in the badger's hole, but you must carry an old candle and if you would find them. Fourth pupil they are up above the clouds. Fool give me a penny, give me a penny. First pupil singing, I l l find your wits again, come, for I saw them roll, to where old badger mumbles in the black hole. Second pupil, singing, no, but an angel stole them the night that you were born, and now they are but a rag, on the moon's horn. Wise man be silent. First pupil can you not see that he is troubled? All the pupils are seated. Wise man what do you think of when alone at night? Do not the things your mothers spoke about, before they took the candle from the bedside, rush up into the mind and master it, till you believe in them against your will? Second pupil to first pupil you answer for us. Third pupil in a whisper to first pupil be careful what you say. If he persuades you to an argument, he will but turn us all to mockery. First pupil we had no minds until you made them for us. Our bodies only were our mother's work. Wise man you answer with incredible things. It is certain that there is one, though it may be but one, believes in God and in some heaven and hell in all those things we put into our prayers. First pupil we thought those things before our minds were born, but that was long ago, we are not children. Wise man you are afraid to tell me what you think because I am hot and angry when I am crossed. I do not blame you for it. But have no fear, for if there is one that sat on smiling there, as though my arguments were sweet as milk yet found them bitter, I will thank him for it, if he but speak his mind. First pupil there is no one, master, there is not one but found them sweet as milk. Wise man the things that have been told us in our childhood are not so fragile. Second pupil we are no longer children. Third pupil we all believe in you and in what you have taught. Other pupils all, 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 in you, nothing but you. Wise man I have deceived you, where shall I go for words, I have no thoughts, my mind has been swept bare. The messengers that stand in the fiery cloud, fling themselves out, if we but dare to question, and after that, the Babylonian moon blots all away. First pupil, to other pupils, I take his words to mean that visionaries, and martyrs when they are raised above translunary things, and they're enlightened, as the contention is, may lose the light, and flounder in their speech when the eyes open. Second pupil how well he imitates their trick of speech. Third pupil their air of mystery. Fourth pupil their empty gaze, as though they did look upon some winged thing, and would not condescend to mankind after. First pupil master, we have all learnt that truth is learnt when the intellect is deliberate and cold, as it were a polished mirror that reflects an unchanged world. And not when the still melts, bubbling and hissing, till there is not but fume. Wise man when it is melted, when it all fumes up, they walk as when beside those three in the furnace the form of the fourth. First pupil master, there is none among us. That has not heard your mockery of these, or thoughts like these, and we have not forgot. Wise man something incredible has happened, someone has come suddenly like a grey hook out of the air, and all that I declared untrue is true. First pupil, to other pupils, you do think the way he says it, that he felt it. There is not a mummer to compare with him. He has something like a man. Second pupil give us some proof. Wise man what proof have I to give, 
but that an angel an instant ago was standing on that spot. The pupils rise. Third pupil you dreamed it. Wise man I was awake as I am now. First pupil to the others I may be dreaming now for all I know. He wants to show we have no certain proof of anything in the world. Second pupil there is this proof that shows we are awake. We have all one world while every dreamer has a world of his own, and sees what no one else can. Third pupil tags sees angels. So when the master says he has seen an angel, he may have seen one. First pupil both may still be dreamers. Unless it s prove the angels were alike. Second pupil what sort are the angels, tag? Third pupil that will prove nothing. Unless we are sure prolonged obedience has made one angel like another angel as they were eggs. First pupil the master is silent now, for he has found that to dispute with us, seeing that he has taught us what we know, is but to reason with himself. Let us away, and find if there is one believer left. Wise man yes, yes. Find me but one that still believes the things that we were told when we were children. Third pupil he el el mock and maul him. Fourth pupil from the first I knew he wanted somebody to argue with. They go. Wise man I have no reason left. All dark, all dark. Pupils return laughing. They push forward fourth pupil. First pupil here, master, is the very man you want. He said, when we were studying the book, that maybe after all the monks were right, and you mistaken, and if we but gave him time, he de proved that it was so. Fourth pupil I never said it. Wise man dear friend, dear friend, do you believe in God? Fourth pupil master, they have invented this to mock me. Wise man you are afraid of me. Fourth pupil they know well, master, that all I said was but to make them argue. They v pushed me in to make a mock of me, because they knew I could take either side and beat them at it. Wise man if you believe in God, you are my soul as one friend. Pupils laugh. Mistress or wife can give us but our good or evil luck amid the howling world, but you shall give eternity, and those sweet-throated things that drift above the moon. The pupils look at one another and are silent. Second pupil how strange he is. Wise man the angel that stood there upon that spot, said that my soul was lost unless I found out one that believed. Fourth pupil cease mocking at me, master for I am certain that there is no God nor immortality, and they that said it made a fantastic tale from a starved dream to plague our hearts. Will that content you, master? Wise man the giddy glass is emptier every moment, and you stand there, debating, laughing and wrangling. Out of my sight. Out of my sight, I say. He drives them out. I l l call my wife, for what can women do, that carry us in the darkness of their bodies? but mock the reason that lets nothing grow unless it grow in light. Bridget, Bridget. A woman never ceases to believe, say what we will. Bridget, come quickly, Bridget. Bridget comes in wearing her apron. Her sleeves turned up from her arms which are covered with flour. Wife, what do you believe in? Tell me the truth, and not, as is the habit with you all, something you think will please me. Do you pray? Sometimes when you're alone in the house, do you pray? Bridget prayers, no, you taught me to leave them off long ago. At first I was sorry, but I am glad now, for I am sleepy in the evenings. Wise man do you believe in God? Bridget oh, a good wife only believes in what her husband tells her. Wise man but sometimes, when the children are asleep and I am in the school, do you not think about the martyrs and the saints and the angels, and all the things that you believed in once? Bridget I think about nothing, sometimes I wonder if melanin is bleaching white, or I go out to see if the crows are picking up the chicken as food. Wise man my God, my God. I will go out myself. My pupils said that they would find a man whose faith I never shook, they may have found him. Therefore I will go out, but if I go, the glass will let the sands run out unseen. I cannot go, I cannot leave the glass. Go call my pupils. I can explain all now, only when all our hold on life is troubled, only in spiritual terror can the truth come through the broken mind, as the peas burst out of a broken peas quad. He clutches Bridget as she is going. Say to them, that nature would lack all in her most need, 
could not the soul find truth as in a flash, upon the battlefield, or in the midst of overwhelming waves, and say to them, but no, they would but answer as I bid. Bridget you want somebody to get up an argument with. Wise man look out and see if there is anyone there in the street, I cannot leave the glass, for somebody might shake it, and the sand if it were shaken might run down on the instant. Bridget I don't understand a word you are saying. There s a crowd of people talking to your pupils. Wise man go out and find if they have found a man who did not understand me when I taught, or did not listen. Bridget it is a hard thing to be married to a man of learning that must always be having arguments. She goes out. Wise man strange that I should be blind to the great secret, and that so simple a man might write it out upon a blade of grass with the juice of a berry. And laugh and cry, because it was so simple. And to Bridget followed by the fool. Fool give me something. Give me a penny to buy bacon in the shops and nuts in the market, and strong drink for the time when the sun is weak. Bridget I have no pennies. To wise man, your pupils cannot find anybody to argue with you. There is nobody in the whole country with belief enough for a lover's oath. Can t you be quiet now, and not always wanting to have arguments? It must be terrible to have a mind like that. Wise man then I am lost indeed. Bridget leave me alone now, I have to make the bread for you and the children. She goes into kitchen. Wise man children. Children. Bridget your father wants you, run to him. Children run in. Wise man come to me, children. Do not be afraid. I want to know if you believe in heaven, God or the soul. No, do not tell me yet. You need not be afraid I shall be angry, say what you please, so that it is your thought, I wanted you to know before you spoke, that I shall not be angry. First child we have not forgotten, father. Second child oh no, father. Both children as if repeating a lesson, there is nothing we cannot see, nothing we cannot touch. First child foolish people used to say that there was, but you have taught us better. Wise man go to your mother, go, yet do not go. What can she say? If I'm dumb you are lost. And yet, because the sands are running out, I have but a moment to show it all in. Children. The sap would die out of the blades of grass had they a doubt. They understand it all, being the fingers of God as certainty, yet can but make their sign into the air. But could they find their tongues they'd de show it all. But what am I to say that am but one, when they are millions and they will not speak, children have run out. But they are gone. What made them run away? The fool comes in with a dandelion. Look at me, tell me if my face is changed. Is there a notch of the fiend's nail upon it already? Is it terrible to sight? Because the moment s near. Going to glass. I dare not look, I dare not know the moment when they come. No, no, I dare not. Covers glass. Will there be a footfall, or will there be a sort of rending sound, or else a cracking, as though an iron claw had gripped the threshold stone? Fool has begun to blow the dandelion. What are you doing? Fool wait a minute, four, five, six, wise man what are you doing that for? Fool I am blowing the dandelion to find out what hour it is. Wise man you have heard everything, and that is why you defined what hour it is, you defined that out, that you may look upon a fleet of devils dragging my soul away. You shall not stop, I will have no one here when they come in, I will have no one sitting there, no one, and yet, and yet, there is something strange about you. I half remember something. What is it? Do you believe in God and in the soul? Fool so you ask me now. I thought when you were asking your pupils, will he ask Tig the fool? Yes, he will, he will. No, he will not, yes, he will. But Tig will say nothing. Tig will say nothing. Wise man tell me quickly. Fool I said, Tig knows everything. Not even the green-eyed cats and the hares that milk the cows have Tiger's wisdom. But Tig will not speak, he says nothing. Wise man speak, speak, for underneath the cover there the sand is running from the upper glass, and when the last grain is through, I shall be lost. Fool I will not speak. I will not tell you what is in my mind. I will not tell you what is in my bag. You might steal away my thoughts. I met a bodake on the road yesterday. 
And he said, Tug, tell me how many pennies are in your bag? I will wager three pennies that there are not twenty pennies in your bag. Let me put in my hand and count them. But I gripped the bag the tighter, and when I go to sleep at night I hide the bag where nobody knows. Wise man there s but one pinch of sand, and I am lost if you are not he I seek. Fool oh, what a lot the fool knows, but he says nothing. Wise man yes, I remember now. You spoke of angels. You said but now that you had seen an angel. You are the one I seek, and I am saved. Fool oh no. How could poor Tyg see angels? Oh, Tyg tells one tale here, another there, and everybody gives him pennies. If Tyg had not his tails he would starve. He breaks away and goes out. Wise man the last hope is gone, and now that it is too late I see it all, we perish into God and sink away into reality, the rest is a dream. The fool comes back. Fool there was one there, there by the threshold stone, waiting there. And he said, Go in, Tug, and tell him everything that he asks you. He will give you a penny if you tell him. Wise man I know enough, that no goddess will prevails. Fool waiting till the moment had come, that is what the one out there was saying, but I might tell you what you asked. That is what he was saying. Wise man be silent. May goddess will prevail on the instant. Although his will be my eternal pain. I have no question. It is enough, I know what fixed the station of star and cloud. And knowing all, I cry that what so God has willed on that instant be fulfilled, though that be my damnation. The stream of the world has changed its course, and with the stream my thoughts have run into some cloudy thunderous spring that is its mountain source, I, to some frenzy of the mind, for all that we have done is undone, our speculation but as the wind. He dies. Fool wise man, wise man. Wake up and I will tell you everything for a penny. It is I, poor Tig the fool. Why don't you wake up, and say, there is a penny for you, Tig? No, no, you will say nothing. You and I, we are the two fools, we know everything, but we will not speak. Angel enters holding a casket. Oh, look what has come from his mouth. Oh, look what has come from his mouth, the white butterfly. He is dead and I have taken his soul in my hands. But I know why you open the lid of that golden box. I must give it to you. There then, he puts butterfly in casket. He has gone through his pains, and you will open the lid in the garden of paradise. He closes curtain and remains outside it. He is gone, he is gone, he is gone, but come in everybody in the world and look at me. I hear the wind a-blow, I hear the grass a-grow, and all that I know, I know but I will not speak, I will run away. He goes out.